Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the lead code question plus one. So this is also the sixth uh, question of the July lead code challenge. And uh, as usual, first I'm going to explain the theory behind solving the question and then I'm going to write Python code to solve it. All right, let's just go over the question real quick. Given a non-empty array of digits representing a non-negative integer plus one to the integer. Okay, so you add one to that integer. Uh, the digits are stored such that the most significant digit is at the head of the list. So the leftmost digit is going to be the most significant digit. And each element in the array contains a single digit. Okay, uh, you may assume that the integer does not contain any leading zeros except for the number zero itself. Okay, let's just first understand the question real quick before we start solving it. So let's say we're given an input of, let's say one, two, three, and four. So we have one, comma, two, comma, three, comma, four inside of a list. Now, uh, insta so how is this number gonna be written? So one is gonna be the most significant number. Then we have two, then we have three, and then we have four. So this is the same as 1,234. So now what you're supposed to do is you just add one to this number. That's just 1,235. So our output is going to represent the value of 1,230, sorry, 1,235. So it's going to be written like this, 1, 2, 3, 5. Okay, so let's see how we can actually solve this. There are two ways we could solve this question. So the first way is the whatever we get as the input, we're going to take that out and convert it to an integer add one to that and then convert it uh, and then we're going to convert it back to a list or array form. So we could do that but that that's just a lot of unnecessary steps which we could just get rid of. Our next option would be to just add a one to the last element of the list. So in this case this all stays the same except for the four which is the last element we're just going to add one and then we're going to get back our answer. So that's actually a lot faster to do. But the only one condition that we need to think about when we're doing this is what if there's a nine? So let's say we have one, two, and then nine. We're later then gonna add the one to the nine, which is the last element. And the nine is now gonna have a value of 10. And we can't do this because in our question, it says that each element is only gonna have, is gonna only be a single digit number. So what we have to do in this case is Every time we have a nine, the number before it is gonna get uh, added by one because uh, 129 plus one is what, 130. But now we still need to consider the nine since uh, we still have the nine there and the, our actual value is gonna be zero. So every time we have a nine, what we can do is we can just change that to a zero. So we're just gonna add a zero. So let's see how this looks like in code, which I think will be a lot more easy to understand. Let's first consider the most basic and simple case, which is in the case where our last digit is any number except for nine. So if digits, the last element in that list, if it's not a nine, then we're just gonna add one to that number. And after we add one, we're just gonna return that. So this is gonna be our most basic case. Now in our else uh, statement, so if we go into that, that means that our last digit is a nine. So how are we gonna account for that? Let's just look at our drawing real quick. So let's say we have a list which has two nines. So we have one comma, three comma, nine comma, nine. So with our new solution, what it's first gonna do is, it's gonna go and, uh, look at everything up to the last digit. So we're just gonna look at one, and we're gonna look at three, and we're gonna look at nine. Now again, when we go through our function, we're gonna face the same problem, which is that the last digit is still nine. Because our last digit is still nine, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna ignore this nine and look at everything up till that nine. So now we're gonna perform the function on one comma three. Then we're gonna get the result as uh, one comma four, we're gonna append our zero, and that's gonna be the result of this. So we're gonna get one comma four comma zero. Now we're gonna take this 
and add that one. So we're gonna get one comma four comma one. Now we're gonna take this over here and we're gonna just append a zero. So it's gonna be one comma four comma zero. And now we need to append that extra zero and it'll be zero. So let's just write the code for that quickly. Okay, so else, now we're gonna call this function. So self dot plus one on the digits uh, up till the last one. So digits starting from zero all the way up to the last element. And this is gonna be the new value of digits. And uh, later we need, to, we need to append the one, sorry, we need to append zero to that. So digits dot append zero. And then we're just gonna return the value of digits. Okay, but we also need to look at one more condition. So what if the value is nine? So let's just see how that looks like. Okay, so if we have a value of just nine, what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna go through our loop. It's gonna go inside of the else statement. And then it's gonna look at everything up to negative, uh, up to the last element. But in that case, we're just gonna return, we're, everything up to the last element for an uh, for the list with only one element is an empty list. So what we're gonna do in that case, because this is a one-off situation, in that case, every time the length of the list is equal to zero, that means that we're dealing with the number nine. And in that case, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna return the value one. So how is that gonna look like? Uh, now let's take this number nine and run it through our program. So we're gonna have nine. Uh, it's gonna, it's not true. It's not gonna go over here, but it's gonna go inside of our else statement. In our else statement, it's gonna perform this, where we're gonna get back. So digits all the way up to negative one is the is uh, the answer to that is gonna be a negative. It's gonna be an empty list. So our empty list is gonna have a length of zero. So now when we call this function, the length of digits is equal to zero. And in that case, we're gonna return a value of one. So now the value of digits becomes one. And we're gonna take one and append zero to it. And when you break that down, you get the value of 10 because nine plus one is 10. And then we're gonna return that and it should work fine. Okay, finally, I'm gonna run this and see what it gives us. Submit, oh, okay, uh, sorry. So we're not just returning the number one, we had to return a list which includes the number one. So this should solve our problem. Okay, so our answer was accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have a better solution to solve this. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you and I'll be posting a lot more programming videos, especially projects. All right, thank you.